GM GM, welcome to our real Malaysia across different social media platform. Well, I see that already got five thousand live views. Amazing! Thanks, my everyone, for waiting. Our official start of today's interview with a very cute project over here, and also very different style. Five thousand five hundred fifty-five mutatas. Well, heat Solana ecosystem pretty soon. Definitely wanted to learn more about the project and also learn about how we can get a wettest spot. Do we still have the opportunity to get it? And of course, at first, we would like to invite our guest speaker representing Mutatas to introduce yourself and introducing the project to us. Thank you. Yeah, thanks so much for for having us. It's it's great to be here and to talk to your community.、Um, Yeah, that project that's actually already launched.、Um, I think it was about two weeks ago, Tuesday, that that the project launched. So there's no more, no more getting getting a whitelist spot, but obviously you can buy from from secondary if you if you really like the, what we're doing.、Um, but yeah, I'm excited to, to to chat to you today. Ah, two weeks ago. Okay, so we'll have to say sorry to our live audience that today we cannot give yeah whitelist spots to anyone. Hey, we should have scheduled an interview earlier. Well, if you are going to have another, yeah, if you are going to launch another project next time, find us earlier <laughs> because our community members and yeah. yeah, they love whitelist spots and yeah, definitely yeah, we wish you could yeah, we could know each other earlier. So, but anyways, let's continue our discussion. Would you like to letting us know your journey? In the weather space, and what, why the team decide to create the project Mutatot, and this looks very decent, right? It's very cool design, and also suitable as a yeah profile picture. Yeah, yeah. I mean, so my my journey in in Web three, if I can give a little bit of personal background, basically started around twenty twenty one. I was working a normal Web two job. Um, and I got very interested in, in in the NFT space. It was was a month or two months before the the big 2021、uh, bull run, and I was still working at my other job. But I was you know constantly just reading up and and learning more and sitting in in conversations and listening about NFTs. And then when the big bull run hit, I was very prepared, because、um, of course because I was spending so much time in in the NFT space. Um, so I did. I did well back then with just trading NFTs and just being involved with with a couple of things,、um, and that sort of just you know made me super interested in in what we can do with these things or with 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 Web three. And I basically decided that I want to try to go all in on Web three. So a couple months after that, I decided to quit my job and basically try and start my own thing thing in Web three and. Yeah, it's been it's been a couple of years since doing that, and so far it's been it's been going well.、Um, like I said, we just launched this two weeks ago, and it's great.、Um, and I can show you if you'd like the the animated trailer. You said we can we can show some things. And、um, for for the muted toes, if you think that's a it's a good time now. Yes, if you want to, yes, be sure to do that because definitely this is a video AMA, so we wanted to see a lot of visual elements, and that would be cool. Thank you. Wow, and also very bold movement, right? Two years ago,、um, OEN Web three and build a project muted toes, and also successfully already launched it two weeks ago. Amazing.、Yeah. And feel free to share your screen and letting us know more about the project. Thank you. All right. Can can you see that? Yes, it's very clear. Oh. Okay. Cool. I'm gonna play it, but there's there's no sound, but it's only thirty、uh-huh. seconds. So I'm just gonna play this, and then after that we can talk about、uh, sure. how how the mutant dates mutant dates started. Sure. There's no sound for you, right? Uh huh. Yeah. No sound. So is it kind of like a BAYC? Yeah, so it's sort of, sort of inspired by by Border Cup Club. I will get, I will, in a second. If you if you if you look now, you can see sort of where the story comes from. But I'll explain the the entire thing to you、uh-huh. in a second. Cool. Yeah, so basically,、um, we started a a, a Border Cup Club energy drink、um, back in. I think it was 2022 or 2023. Sorry, my timelines are a little bit messed up. And it's essentially that energy drink that you can see right there.、Um, and we basically wanted to play on the whole Border Yacht Club story of of you know apes getting airdrop serum and then 
they drink the serum and they turn into mutant apes. So we wanted to play a little bit on the story because we felt it was super cool. And obviously, Border Cross Club was one of the biggest the NFTs um, and they did so much for the industry. So we basically took that concept and started an energy drink with our own mutant ape. So we bought the ape that's, that's in this video and we started this like real life physical consumer product. Um, and that went well. It was, it was very cool to to have this physical product that's connected to the Web3 world. But we wanted to take that one step further and basically build our own IP around this, this, this energy drink. Or well, not really around it, but just sort of extend the story a little bit more. And basically that's where the story for the Muted Toads come from. So we sort of, you know, playing on this board they've got club story where they consume serum accidentally and then they turn into these, these, these mutated little creatures. Um, as you can see right here in the video, I'm just quickly playing it again. So that's that. That's basically the story. Um, and now that they're born, they're basically sort of addicted to this this energy drink and it just cause a, a lot of chaos. So you'll see in the animations that we do, it's always fun and energetic. Um, yeah, and that's 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 basically the backstory from the Muted Toads from my side. Um, that's all the visual, visuals I've got to show you right now. Um, there's obviously a lot more on our Twitter if you wanted to go have a look at that. Nice. That is so awesome. Thank you so much for sharing the story with us. Yes, and I remember, wow, uh, yeah, I think probably that was from the last bull cycle, right? The video clip. And at the time, definitely BYC kind of like dominate the whole BNB, uh, the whole NFT industry, and which is so cool. And the, the good old days. Thank you so much for sharing the story. And well, and we know that Mutatos is actually a free mint, right? Why does the team decide to do a free mint? How do you make money out of free mint? Yeah, so I mean, that's a that's a good question. That's a question that a lot of people wonder about. Um, so we basically sort of understood where we are currently in the market. You know, there's not a lot of massive NFT projects launching right now. The NFT market's in a bit of a weird space. Um, and we thought that our main priority for this launch is essentially to build a community, um, show the community that we are here to add value and not extract value, which I think is important if you are sort of trying to, to build a project from the ground up. So the free mint was there to just build a community, which is which is what we are all about, um, and to, to add value to, to what we are doing. Um, on, the, on the revenue question, that's obviously the, the, the more difficult thing because now you have to basically rely on secondary volume or releasing actual products um, or perhaps getting funding or something like that. Um, but we were fine with this decision because I feel like if you want to build something, it's better to you know start at a, at a free price and then show people what you're capable of in building this thing from the ground up. Ah, I see. Wow. Very brave movement, right? And also another very brave decision is that your project doesn't have a Discord server as your community base, right? Why did the team decide to make such a decision? Thank you. Yeah, so there's a lot of mixed feelings about using only Telegram and, and not Discord. This is a decision that we basically made as a team. I mean, there's, there's a couple of reasons. The biggest reason, or not the biggest reason, but one of the big reasons is that Telegram is sort of where us where we always hang out me and the team so we didn't want to necessarily split split you know um our community into into two different channels and then another big thing about telegram is that we felt like in order to, to basically um reach our vision which is to build this self-sustaining community where you know the community doesn't really necessarily rely on the project founders to 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 keep things going we want to build this 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 community where everyone basically adds value to the community and the thing that holds the community together is relationships between the people and connections and the love of the ip and the and the artwork and and things like that and for our vision we just felt like doing it in telegram with one channel where this you know just the only thing you can do is talk to talk to each other and build relationships we thought that telegram for our specific use case was better than discord um so we're not necessarily against discord but we feel like for our vision it's um it's not the right choice so yeah but we've had a lot of, a lot of mixed feelings about that ah uh, right yeah because a lot of people still want to kind of like be a community, right? So if you don't have a Discord server, where do you 
uh, to your community members that they could connect with each other on Twitter? Yeah, so it's, it's I mean, the, on Twitter, obviously, if you've got the profile picture, then, you know, it's, it's, it's nice to connect with people on there. But we've got in our Telegram, we've actually got uh, a whole this chat. So we're basically trying to do whatever you can do in Discord, but just do it in, in, in Telegram. I see. Yeah, Telegram is also very convenient for people to connect with each other. So that's also a good yeah. idea. And of course, and um, previously we learned about the uh, kind of like the dual, developing story, right? For Muta Talks, right? Uh, do you yeah. want to share us how has everything been post Mint? Yeah, so I mean, post Mint, post Mint is is an interesting interesting time i mean we've, we had a lot of hype leading leading up to our mint um and we had some stuff to, to deal with on mint day um but i think we've we, we've dealt with that and we sort of started you know building the community that i think likes what we are doing um because because and i've said this before i don't think what our vision is is essentially for everyone but i think there's people that that, that will really enjoy what what we are trying to build so post mint has been it's been fun. I mean, we've we've been building out the, the IP of the Mutatoes further. We've been releasing more animations. Um, we are now starting to, to do all of these AMAs. You 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 are actually our, our second AMA. Um, so I think it's been good. I mean, it is it is a challenge challenging market at the moment. So there's a lot of um, difficulties that, that we have to deal with. But we are moving forward, and you know we 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 are getting there. Um, when we launched our our trailer. The, the first video on our Twitter, we didn't necessarily expect for it to, to, to blow up as much as it did. So that was a really good kickstart to, to what we are doing. Um, and yeah, we, we now pushing pushing forward off the mint. That is really interesting. Did you just mention that this is your second AMA for the Mitata project? And so your team didn't really go to a bunch of the yeah, Twitter space or uh, yeah different AMA sessions before the launch of the meta top nft is that right yeah yeah no we, we didn't do any any amas we, we had a couple of people who wanted to schedule something with us be, before launch but um like i said the, the the video blew up so much and there was so much going on before launch that we felt like we want to try and do these after launch to have a chat after launch i think it's it's always interesting to get an update from the project after they've launched and after they've minted and after you know all the all the difficulties has been has been sorted out so i thought we'd just be able to talk a little bit more about about the plans and what we're doing um and how the community has formed after after the month so yeah we actually scheduled everything to be after the month wow you guys are brave because normally a lot of the project team they will feel like oh my goodness we need to go to a bunch of different AMS like 100 sessions before the launch of our nft collections right but you guys choose a different path to do that and also um just like you say right the um the video that got a lot of attentions so basically the team didn't really need to spend marketing budget right to promote the project so do you mind to yeah. let us know about the rapid growth behind the things that support meta and make it super popular and also how about currently um do you still get a lot of attentions post mint thank you yeah so that's 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 the interesting thing about launching a free mint is obviously you have to be very conscious about how you spend money and what you spend money on ways where you save money so we had a very sort of intense free marketing plan before the mint but we didn't really put aside a massive budget for that um, and it, it, I mean, it feels like the like the pre market or the pre pre mint marketing work with with the content that we put out. Um, so that's that's you know that's another um, positive thing about the free mint is you it's it's easier to, to to grow your community quicker because the the barrier for entry is so much lower. So the 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 growth of the of the muted totes was I think we launched the trailer on the fourth of. June or something and then about a month later we minted and we were already at um, 30,000 followers or something on on Twitter so the free mint mixed with really good trailer and really good artwork actually actually did wonders um, I mean I'm, I'm saying we didn't spend any money on or we didn't spend much money on on free marketing but of course we spent 
a lot of money on the animations and the content that, that, that we made. And it's not, not cheap to, to make um, animated stuff of, of that quality. So there was a lot of money and a lot of time that went into that. Um, but I think it paid off. I mean, we got a really good feedback from, from people who saw the animation and it really um, made a lot of people interested in, in us and interested in the project. So um, it, sort of, it was sort of cool to see that, you know, the art that we spent so much time to make and the story that we spent so much time to build actually worked because clearly people were very interested in, in, in what we were doing. So it's good good to, to see people actually appreciate the, the artwork and the, and the time we spent on, on building the IP. Wow, definitely respect, respect, because this is really true builders, right? Don't just want to, um, yeah, well, you don't want to like a lot of paid promotions and to some, shall I say, some unreal hype, right? But this is all true, genuine, yeah. Um, come to followers yeah, and yeah. yeah so that's really like the project yeah just like you said right even though the team probably didn't spend any money on marketing before the launch of the yeah mutant towns and the collection but i could clearly see the artwork the design it's 3d and also each of the videos each of the yeah short videos they are just amazing the quality is certainly very high and i could see that yeah, you guys also go to different um, offline events, right? Because I see a bunch of kind of like influencers or streamers that they are holding the serum drink. Yeah, so I mean, um, for for serum energy drink, because it's a, a consumer product, so that's the energy drink that I showed you in, in the animation. Right. Um, because of that being a consumer product, we obviously had to go or have to go to a lot of physical events and, and, and sponsor stuff. So the, the energy energy drink has, has, has been to a lot of um, physical events and we sort of always want that to be our consumer facing product because it's such a cool product and it's it's sort of a, a, an easy way to actually get people to, to look at other things that we're building like the, like the muted toads. So we, did, we haven't had the muted toads at any physical events yet because so far it's only an NFT so you can't really take them to an event. But as soon as we start doing any sort of physical products like plush toy, toys or whatever then i'm sure we'll go back to something like comic-con um and sort of showcase what what we've been building over there um so yeah i, I mean that's the part that i look forward to is actually going to to, to events and and showcasing the artwork and the ip that, that that we've built um yeah it's been it's been a long time i think we we actually worked almost a year and a half on on the story and and the ip for the muted toads um, so it's it's exciting to finally be able to show people what we do. Right. Yes. Actually, Dave Chad, I saw your personal Twitter post. Right. You already post about the um, drink serum and also post about the Todd last year. And now you mentioned that the project has been built for a year and have read right? the whole concept. So, yeah. What? support your team to build for so long or are you kind of like a one person team what support you to do so long like all in web3 so because yeah well building a in real life drinking brand your energy drink brand right and that costs money of course and yeah yeah you need to go to different in real life events and to promote it and bring it everywhere that's another shipment right and also advertisement fees so wow and where where the funds come from? Do you have any like investors, or are you all kind of like um, support the project all by yourselves? Thank you. If I could ask the question, because I'm so curious about it. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Um, yeah, so I mean, we we don't have, have any investors um, at this moment. It's it's something that for the for the muted toads we'll, we'll probably have a look at because you know it's 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 expensive to build in the in the three D three D art world. Um, but but we like I said we I started in, in Web3 a long time ago and, and the, the the serum energy drink is connected to, to, to a much bigger ecosystem. So they it, it it's connected to a to a, a token that, that we wanted to do some cool stuff with um to sort of have this this uh, how can I say it sort of have this web two X, web three utility. 
um, and we we actually worked on that for 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 almost two years, and you know there was some revenue generated through that and and through the energy drink. So we sort of, as we move along, we are building things and generating revenue and putting that back into the business to build more things. So it's 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 mostly just been us sustaining ourselves and trying to to build the business bigger and bigger. Um, so it's been it's been challenging and it's been hard work and it's been you know. A lot of work, a lot of late nights, but but it's it's a fun project to be working on. So so, I I enjoy it. Wow, that's very nice. And my next question is, why did the team choose go three D into the two D? And are you personally an artist or a designer? Because this is just awesome. Thank you, thank you. No, um, so I mean I. I lead a lot of of what we do creatively in in um, at the Mutatodes, um, but I don't really have much of an, an an artist background. So we've got we've got a couple of animators that work for us, and then we also have a, a company that we outsource some some um, some things to that, that that's here in, um, in South Africa as well, and was, was extremely good at, at at animation and 3D art and things like that. So we we, we have a we. We've got a big team of creative minds to to sort of help us bring these things to life. Um, yeah, and we decided to to go with a 3D art instead of the 2D art for a couple of reasons. Um, and I think one of it was there's there's a lot of 2D art, um, and in the market we're at, I don't think it's going to be that easy to to build one of the top projects if you do what's already been done. So we wanted to go the the 3D way and really focus on very very high quality artwork to sort of capture that um the type of person that actually wants to collect nfts and and wants to buy the artwork because they like it so we had to make sure that the artwork is perfect and then also for 3d art you know we're moving very quickly with technology and artificial intelligence um, animation tools and things like that and we basically want to give our holders the the opportunity to embody their nfts and create cool 3d content with with all of those ai tools out there so you know it's it's, it's on our roadmap definitely to sort of enable people to do all of these cool different things and make all of this content with their 3d characters um and i think that's where 3d sort of has the, the upper end because it it just feels more like a um a physical world mixing with with the digital world nice wow much respect and well yeah, I also watched the short video for Moto Tons and I also noticed that there are actually a bunch of other great short videos on the Mutatas official yeah. yeah Twitter handle or on the yeah or on your personal Twitter handle, right? So everyone if you are watching us on Finance Lab, be sure to go visit Mutatas official Twitter handle on Twitter. Yeah, on X definitely just so cute and you are going to know why it's become so popular because you're going to love it so yeah since it's post mingdera and i noticed that you also uh, just had an ama session with play ember like actually also being to our ama session earlier this year so it was so good friends and connect with each other and what yeah. other plans are you going to start to do a bunch of different ama sessions post mint with other different projects or communities or are you going to go back to focus on the end drink or are you going to create another ip thank you yeah so i mean our big focus right now is is to expand the ip in different ways and as quickly as we possibly can so that mostly means you know building animations or interactive 3d content or releasing merchandise or anything to actually just build this 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 ip from from the mutatode so we are you know negotiating with with partners to actually help us speed up the, the, the quantity and the quality of, of, of what we can what we can put out. So we should be you know dropping more videos on the Twitter and, and just creating more cool content, sort of creating a bigger story around the, the muted notes. Um, because like I said, we want this to truly become a collectible IP. Um, we want to attract those people that collect NFTs for the sake of, of collecting them. Um, so it's it's a difficult thing to 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 do, but I, I, again, it's something that I enjoy, and I think I think we we will get there in time. Um, of course. Yeah, and then I think there was a second part of your question that I forgot, or was that the entire question? Uh, well, you will the team 
um, go to like a lot more oh. AMA sessions to connect with more community members and yeah, different projects. And also, will the team create a new IP because this is an IP project, right? Yeah. So um, the the AMA is, I think, we will definitely do more because it's important for people to to yeah, speak and to be be able to to ask questions. So we'll definitely be looking at at, at doing more AMAs, but you know, you also can't do too many AMAs in a short span of time because you'll just end up saying the same thing over and over again. So um, we, we sort of just want to want to spread these things out um, in a good way so that we can maybe bring some some new information every time we do an AMA. But that's definitely on the list. I think connecting with other communities is very important when you're trying to build in Web3. Um, so yeah, we'll definitely be doing that. And then regarding the IP, I mean, this is the, the Mutatotes is the IP that we want to focus on. Um, basically i would almost say forever so we will only be working on this trying to expand this ip in whatever ways we can um and we've got you know big big dreams of where we want to push this ip to so yeah it's it's going to be hard work but um again i enjoy it so i'm looking forward to the next couple of months thank you so much dave chair for answering the question for us and are you open to do some on-site questions from our audience because right now we have several thousand actually six thousand just hit six thousand like views on binance life do you mind to uh answer some of your questions if you are available yeah cool let's do it so we have first question is that where can people buy the serum energy drink so syrup energy drink is only at the moment available in in south africa um currently we are sort of going through a, a restructuring thing so so um we had our last little bit of stock actually sell out um uh, we are based in south africa by the way so that's why the the, the drink is, is only available in south africa but our big or oh, on the on serum side the big focus is to get the energy drink to the us as soon as possible and we've been speaking to someone on that side for quite some time so i'm hoping that we will be able to to, to get it into the us very soon um but yeah we'll we'll have to reveal that info on on twitter once that's available wow cool and also um yeah another question uh asking about do you mind to let us know about the core team members backgrounds and your previous project because people are just curious about the meet and talk team thank you yeah so i mean we've got a couple of people that's that's web3 native and then we've got a couple of people that um aren't necessarily from the web3 world but they they, they come from from animation background so it's me the, the the founder who like i said went into web3 i think it was 2021 or 2022 i can't remember exactly um my background before that was essentially working as a as a process automation engineer so it wasn't in in web3 before that um but i was was, was very involved with it and very interested in that then we've got a couple of, of moderators and community managers who all are sort of just similar to me. They're people who all well on, on their side they work with two jobs, but they what they do stuff for us um, or for the muted toads um, part time. And then on the actual creative side, most of these people come from web two backgrounds. So we've got at the moment we've we've actually got four in house animators, and then like I said, we've got this partner that we outsource a lot of work to. So Definitely something that we are looking at is, is expanding the, 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 the Web3 side of the team because I think that's that's something that we need. Um, but yeah, that, that, that also takes some time. Ah, yeah, totally understand. Thank you so much for letting us know about you know, your team's background. And also, um, some people are curious about what will the um, utilities be for the new title and the collection. Thank you. Yeah, so that's that's obviously a question that we get asked all the time. Is is, is what can you can you actually do with this NFT? What what is the utility? Mm -hmm. And it's it's something that I again it's what I mentioned in the beginning. I don't necessarily think this project is for every single person out there, but we are really trying to push um, the IP and the and the collectability of these NFTs above anything else. So we are putting more focus into building really quality IP instead of building utility but if you look at the ip side you know the, the utility is there once you've got the nft you get the, the ip rights very similar to the board record club very similar to the budget penguins you can use the ip of your nft to, to, to build your own project 
So for us as a project, it's it's very important to actually make this IP worth something so that people have a reason to go out and use their own IP of their NFT to, to build something. Um, and I think that's that's where the utility kicks in. And it's almost like the energy drink that we made, like we bought the, the board ape or the, or the mutant ape and we used that um, and basically leveraged the, the board ape of story to build our own product. Um, and we are hoping to enable people to do the same thing. Ah, totally understand. Yes, that's understandable. And if the, uh, if the IP is more and more famous, right? And of course, it's more valuable. Thank you so much, Dev Child, for answering those questions from our audience. Do you have any additional yeah. information that you'd like to share with us before we wrap up our AMA session? Thank you. Yeah, I mean, right now, we, we want to release as much content as possible. So the only information I'd have to share is to, to just follow us on Twitter, see what, what we put out. Um, if you like the content and you feel like it's something that you want to collect, then, you know, go get your toad and, and get inside of our Telegram, meet some people. Um, and yeah, you, we can build this thing together. Amazing. Thank you so much. And